2 grams of magnesium hydroxide, which is MGH, reacts with a 30 cubic centimeter of sulfuric acid solution of a concentration of 1.5 according to the following balance equation. So it's a sulfuric acid, which is a strong acid and a weak base. Um, gives you water and um, magnesium sulfate. Now the question it says why um, H2SO4 is considered a strong acid. The answer is simple here. It because it ionizes completely in water. So a strong acid ionizes completely in water that's 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 the reason why it's a strong acid right okay let's go to 7.1.2 it says calculate the concentration of the final solution guys this is not the end of the question i just created a gap between this question here's the other part of the question so this question from the beginning it starts with the big question which is the heavy guys when it comes to this eight mark question guys you need to relax and you need to do it step by step now guys if you check my other videos i provided you steps how to do this one right so first and foremost what are you going to do you need to convert this magnesium hydroxide into number of moles number of moles of magnesium hydroxide um, equal to mass over molar mass you take that mass you convert it into number of moles the molar mass of magnesium hydroxide it's 24 it's 24 2 uh, times 16 plus 1 when you punch that in the calculator, it's 2 divided by 24 plus 2 times 16 plus 1. So the answer here is 0 0.03448. 0 .03 more. And this is the initial amount. This is the initial amount, guys. It's an amount available number of moles of magnesium hydroxide okay the next thing that we're going to do from this we're changing this 30 and this concentration of sulfuric acid into number of moles so we're going to use the formula that says c is equal to n over v so we change the concentration the concentration is 1.5 and we want it in number of moles so that we can do the mole ratio. So the volume when you do it's 30. When you divide 30 by 1000, it's going to be 0 0.03. So when you say 1.5 times 0 0.03, your answer is the number of moles. These are the number of moles of what? Of sulfuric acid. It's 0 0.0 four five more guys this is what you need to note these amount these are the amounts available available before reaction takes place all right these are the amounts that we're going to put in the reaction chamber now after getting this we have to find an excess guys when they say calculate the concentration of the final solution we want the concentration of an axis the concentration of an axis that's what it means so now um, what are we going to do next we're going to find an excess we'll do the mole ratio the mole ratio is magnesium hydroxide is to sulfuric acid i'm going to find the sulfuric acid so the ratio the mole ratio between the two it's one is to one one is to one and then i'm going to find um the, the the sulfuric acid i'll put the x there what is the amount that i'm going to put is the amount available for magnesium hydroxide which is this amount 
it's 0 0.03448 and then I cross multiply therefore my x it's going to be 0 0.03448 because the ratio is 1 is to 1 is going to be the same this is the amount of sulfuric acid required or the amount that is going to react right so now having this amount now we're going to compare there's a comparison that i'm going to do this number of moles that is required compare with the number of moles that we have so the available is bigger than the number that is is is, is required so we write this we say the number of moles the number of moles required for sulfuric acid is lesser than the number of moles available so if that's the case we conclude that h2so4 is a what is an excess reagent reagent so if it's an excess reagent it simply means that this amount will be taken out of this amount available and then something will remain and then we need to calculate that amount that will remain we say it's an amount in excess the amount in excess is equal to the amount available minus the amount required so the amount available is this amount what is this amount? The amount available of an acid, it's 0 0.045. This amount here. Minus the amount that is required, which is 0 0.03448. And then I still have it in my calculator, 0 0.04 uh, minus 0 0.3448. The answer here is zero comma zero one zero five two more. This is an amount that remained after they reacted in an excess. Um, this is an amount of H two SO four remain. It's an excess. So from this amount, we change it into concentration. So what are we going to do? We'll see. C. The concentration of an excess is equal to the number of moles of an excess divided by the total volume of the solution. Guys, check my previous video of acids and base where I do this 8 mark and 9 mark question. And then we we'll take this number of moles, which is 0 0.01052 divided by the total volume. This occurs with, with an only volume of what of 30 it's still 30 the volume there's no other volume there so the 30 cubic centimeter when you divide it by 1000 is going to be 0 0.03 so in my calculator I still have the answer I'll say answer divide by 0 0.03 so the answer will be 0. Point, um, the answer will be 0. Point, um, Okay, let me just punch it directly. I'll have 0 0.0 um, 0 0.0105 divided by 0 0.03, which is at 0 0.0 at 0 0.0 0 what 0 0.035. 0 um, more per dm3 that's it guys now it says in 7.2 the following question it says a dilute HCl solution has a concentration of 0 0.15 more per dm3 this dilute uh, solution reacts with a concentrated sodium carbonate right so guys here um when they say in 7.2 define the term dilute when we talk about the dilute stuff there's more water than 
than actual dilute stuff. But now when we talk about an acid, a dilute acid, we're talking about the small amount, um, small amount uh, of acid in proportion, in proportion um, to the volume, to the volume of water. Check my other video. I've explained this in my other video. Now, in 7.2.2, it says calculate the pH of 8 cell. Now, we are given this concentration of 8 cell, the 0 0.15, but now they want us to calculate. We know the, the pH. You know the pH we're calculating um, by, by the concentration of hydronium ion. So... For a monoprotic acid um, like um, like HCl, so the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to the concentration of HCl, since the HCl is monoprotic, monoprotic acid. Since it's monoprotic acid, so the concentration of hydronium it will be equal. Check my other video. I've been explaining this in my other videos of acids. So, this simply means that since the concentration of HCl is 0 0.15 mole per dm3, therefore the concentration of oxonium or hydronium ion will be equivalent. Um, in fact, the ratio between the two when you dissolve the HCl into water. Um, the ratio here it's going to be um, the ratio it's going to be 1 is to 1 this equation is balanced that's why so now calculating the pH will say pH is equal to negative log H3O plus now we substitute negative log 0 0.15 the answer there um, negative log we log 0 0.15 the answer here it's 0 0.8 um, a 2 the pH doesn't have units now in 7.3 it says a solution is made by dissolving um, the the salt in water the salt in water, which is the sodium carbonate, the sodium carbonate in water. So now it says, is the solution acidic or basic? The solution is basic. How the solution is it basic? Now, if you are taking the sodium carbonate and you're dissolving it in water now in 7.2.2 they said write the chemical equation that explains the answer to 7.1 if you're dissolving it in water um this is what is going to happen this is what is going to happen here um this the sodium here will split here and the carbonate here will be CO32 minus and the water here it will be H plus 2H plus plus oxygen with an oxygen 2 minus so what is going to happen here um, the water in this it will donate so this proton or these two will react so if, when these two react they will form an acid that is called um, hydrogen carbonate or carbonic acid they will form a carbonic acid and then these two um, with 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 hydrogen they will form the sodium hydroxide so this this solution is basic because there's an NOH that is formed which is it makes it a basic solution or alternatively here guys if you're looking at the carbonic if you if you're looking at the at the sodium carbonate the sodium carbonate it comes from 
this side it comes from a strong base and at this one it comes from a carbonic acid which is it's a weak acid and this one it's a strong base so here um, in order to know um, what is happening and what is going to happen the solution is going to be basic you take the weak part the, 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 the weak part of the salt which is the CO3 um, 2 minus you take the iron and dissolve it in water so this it will be CO3 2 minus you dissolve it in water and then what's going to happen um, those are double arrows guys um, what is going to happen when so the water will donate the two the two protons there so it will become um, it won't donate the two it will donate just donate one it will donate the proton there so you will have HCO3 minus plus um, OH minus do you see this OH represent what? A basic. Represent an alkaline. Have you noticed in the two, um, the CO3 has gone back to what it was before. It come, it's, it, it is coming from a carbonic acid. Even this, when you add it in water, it goes back to original carbonic acid. This is in hydrolysis, guys. It's a process when you dissolve a salt in water. It's called hydrolysis.